You'll begin by priming your board. Find the primer and make sure it has the P on it. There is white paint that looks a lot like primer. Grab a scrap piece of wood to put underneath your board. This will prevent paint or stain from getting on your board. Get a clean brush. Make sure it's dry and you're only going to be dipping the very tip of the brush into the primer. Don't put too much paint on the brush or it will make a mess. Lightly brush paint onto the top, sides, and ends of the board. Try to apply a light, even coat. When finished painting, take the brush and find a soapy bucket of water to place the brush into. Make sure to take the lid and put it back onto the primer, paint, or any other product you're using in class. Take your board from the painting area and move it to a different area to allow it to dry. Lightly sand after your first coat of primer. Try to get any rough areas, any drips, and just basically smooth out the board before painting your first coat of color. You're going to be engraving this board and then painting a different color into the engravings. So the first color that you paint on the exterior should be the background color. You should kind of know what you're going to cut out so you can choose the color before painting your board. Paint a light even coat of color just like you did primer. Try to avoid drips. Do not paint vertically, paint horizontally across your board. Make sure to get the entire board. It'll depend how you paint as far as how many coats of color you'll need. Some boards will just need two. Some boards may need three or more. You're really going to have to look at your board and decide when it looks nice, even, smooth, uh, all one color. And that, at that point, you can move on. Make sure to clean the brush, cap the paint, and move your project to an area to allow it to dry.